here we have on the left bentonite clay which is saturated which has been placed on top of a layer of sand in the bottom of the jar. On the right we have 4,000 psi concrete. The concrete and the clay have sat for approximately 13 hours under water which was obtained from the Goliad formation. What we're going to do, we're going to take most of the water off of the top and replace that water with hydrogen peroxide and a touch of sodium carbonate. We're going to take our hydrogen peroxide and sodium carbonate and we're going to add this. Now keep in mind when ISO mining occurs this is applied under pressure. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the effective capability of both of these products of sealing the sand in, in a borehole. As you can see, the bentonite clay has swollen, formed actually a, a foam type substance that is not solid but yet would plug small holes in an aquifer formation very effectively, obviously. If that were to try to go through holes, small holes, it would plug them up. The packed clay is here from here down. As you can see, the sand is still intact, very much sealed. The, this is the line of the unaffected uh, bentonite. Above it is the product of its reaction with the luxidant. It literally consumed luxidant and then prevented uh, further oxidation. The concrete did not swell. Uh, here's the sand. Here's the concrete and it's obvious because there's a liquid on top of it which is composed of water and hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> As you can see it's still oxidizing. Now we have a glass of water from the aquifer. I'm just going to simply top off both the samples uh, just to simulate the recharge of water which is consumed underneath the ground as opposed to exposing this to open air. So I'm going to pour it in and I'm going to pour it in just to the top just to the top. Okay, it's 6 o'clock uh, in the evening. It's been now 11 hours since uh, since 7 a.m. Since we added the lit cement to the bentonite clay or bentonite gel actually as you can see the gel on top of the water now. That's obviously how it goes name and we have the concrete. Now notice that small rock that was slightly buried before. It is quite exposed at this, at this time. That rock right there. 
is quite exposed. The exhibit is still oxidizing the uh, the concrete. Um, again, it's been 11 hours. We're going to let these uh, solutions set until this reaction stops. And at that time, we will evaluate the results. Now, the texture of the bentonite is still quite, uh, quite uh, gel-like. Um, and it's very gooey. Now, the concrete is very hard, very brittle. And as you can see, some of the cement has been consumed by the lixivium, leaving only the gravel.